All right, welcome to the Real Talk by Capers and Parsons podcast. Right now, Parsons isn't here right now. I don't know what the hell he's doing. This off-timing ass nigga. But right now, we got a special guest, Malik Joe, in the building. Up, Malik Joe, how you doing? How you doing, brother? Shit, man. I'm on the couch in Cancun like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, everybody else me too, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> All the that shit is terrible. Down. So what I was going to do, I was going to talk about Dallas first. But since TP ain't here, we're going to switch it. We're going to do a pivot. We're going to talk about Philly. Right. I'm going to get directly to it, bro. Let's go. How did y'all go 10 and 1 and finish 11 and 7? Honestly, luck. Defensive luck. Honestly. <laughs> Defensive luck. Really. Uh, I, I mean, like, because, like, I, when I look back on the season that I was talking about this earlier, when I look back at the season, I really don't remember nobody really being even, like, wide open. Like, as much as I want to say A.J. Brown's open, and A.J. Brown make his own plays. Like, he don't even really be open most of the time. But right. we had no – but, like, when we played the Giants the second time, bro, when they was catching the ball, it was nobody around them. And that yeah. could be just our defense being ass or whatever you want to say it, but it's no way you that ass, bro. These I niggas is running schemes that had people open. We not doing that same thing. Like, I'm like, I don't even give a fuck. At this point, if I was the offensive coordinator, I would, like, write down the exact play the Cowboys did and do that. Like, whoever whoever was playing, the Giants, yeah. whatever, I would mimic these plays because, like, it's no way. There's nobody. Like, how the fuck are you running on third and long? Let's just say third and over 10. You got uh-huh. two seams and two outsides, and they blitzing. You got to have something come across the middle. How the fuck does I that work? I know it. It don't make sense, bro. Like, it's just like the play calling was so bad to the point where it's though you just looking at it like it's, bro, it's third, it's third and seven, and y'all run a quarterback sneak? Like, how a third and right. seven quarterback sneak is crazy? You wouldn't even do that in 04, Matt, and with Michael Vick. With Vick. Uh huh. It's uh-huh. crazy, bro. Like, the decision making was horrible, the coaching was horrible. Like, I think that we had a good enough team that if we had a different playbook, you put that team. With a different coach, it's a, and I, whatever it, coach it may be, I don't give a fuck what the name, the proper naming of it. If it was offensive coordinator, head coach, whoever the fuck was calling in charge of no motion, we had zero motion all year. Nobody did a uh, fucking motion. We didn't line up in fucking eye formation maybe twice. Like we, right. it was, bro. Like we got the fucking legislate every game that fucking DeAndre Swift had under fifteen carries, we lost. Every single last one of them. Every time he got 15 or more, we won and set one game, and that was a Seahawks game. Every other game, uh-huh. he had more than 15 carries. We won every single game. Mm. How can't you? I didn't even know I, that. I swear to God, I, I, I pulled it up. I said, yo, there's no way I'm starting running because, like, I'm a, I'm an old school cat, bro. Like, I, I uh-huh. no Philadelphia ass text. We won a chip because we was old school at 05. Listen. You line up in our formation, and you run the ball on first and second down. And now you don't always have to do that, but you got to run the ball in running ball situations, okay? It's just like playing blackjack, right. bro. If a fucking 17 is showing, you don't hit if you got 17. You hope he got <laughs> something lower. Just, you got to play the game the way the game's supposed to be played. You can't throw right. haymakers the whole fight thinking that you're going to knock somebody out. You got to throw jabs. Just like the jab is essential in boxing, the run is essential in football. You got to run the fucking ball. So without running the ball, we have zero play action. We don't even, our play action is not even convincing. Like, it's like, bro, yeah. I can go on all day, man. You can be hot. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, that shit is, it's so upsetting to see, like, how to, uh-huh. like, when you see good coaches manage a football game and they manage the game right, and we see our coaches, like, like, I feel like we got the most, like, look what I can do, like, type of people in our type in office. Like, that's the worst. You don't want to look what I can do type person in your fucking, like, running anything. And we all know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to say no names. But you don't want to uh-huh. look at a look what I can do type of person. Like, you need somebody that's going to get the fucking job done and run the fucking ball when it need to be ran. Bro, we was playing the Giants the first time before we lost. This was the second time. We was up by, I think, two scores, two possessions, bro. Yeah, at half or something. It was oh, something man. like that. It was like we was up by like two possessions in the fourth quarter, mind you. In the fourth quarter, up. I think it's like six minutes left on first down. There is a everybody know what you're doing. You're fucking running the ball. What do we do? Right. Pass the ball. Why are we passing the ball up in the fourth quarter? Six minutes left by two scores on first down. That don't make sense. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It don't make sense, bro. That shit that that this shit that that, that just pisses me off and I can't. I can't get down with that shit, bro. I really can't. That so you saying? Up. So you saying the downfall basically 
95 percent of his coaching. A large no, majority of his coaches. Say, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 95. No, I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say 95. I'm gonna say 90 on offense, mm-hmm. and 90 of it was coaching on offense, and on defense, I'm gonna say it was more like 65, 70. Because technically, the personnel is out there on defense. Like, you, there's not much scheming you can do to outwit somebody else. Like, it's right. defense, bro. You can't do like it's not that. It's really the personnel that's on the fucking field. And making plays, okay? Like that's uh-huh. all you need, right? And making right. plays starts at making fucking tackles, and we ain't do none of that shit. We ain't make, we couldn't make it. Ta- we couldn't fucking stop a nosebleed. I ain't like, gonna lie, they couldn't tackle me, bro. Bro, they couldn't exactly, bro. Nobody yeah, was yeah, yeah. out there trying to fucking tackle, and then like when I don't know if you saw recently in the uh, in the in the fucking social media world, Javon Hargrave that used to be our D tackle, he played here in, in, in yeah, a couple and he, of in years. San Fran, now. and then he went to San Fran, and he said, "Yo, the work ethic here is just a little bit harder. Like we hit every day and all this goofy shit. Like, and now I can see like the Eagles really taking it off on. I mean, I get it, I get it. It's like the professional leagues and everybody shit is different, and they want to run a team the way they want to run a team. But dog, dog, the shit that you practicing is just showing in real life. Nobody's, we don't have no contact people out there, like." Don't nobody want to fucking hit. We don't got no hitters. We got right. fucking every... Okay, everybody on the D-line, I would say they hitters like the Jason Red. Nobody behind the D-line besides blanking shit, the white bull, want to fucking hit. Yeah. Lo- Listen, love love Darius... The- I'm not going to call him, sorry. Slay. Love Slay. Can't uh-huh. call him Darius. Love Slay. Love Slay. Slay is great, but he's not a hitter. He's no, not he's a not. Hitter. He don't want to tackle, bro. He can do everything else. Ain't don't nobody in that secondary want to fucking tackle except Chalk Dog. And I call him Chalk Dog because he... G-Y. Yo, Chalk Dog is crazy. Yo, <laughs> so Chalk Dog is crazy. want to hit and like accept him. And it's like, bro, we have I mean, we have no leverage with that. We have no leverage in in blitzing. We didn't blitz. We really we we depended on our D line like they was like sapping fucking Javon Kirsten. Like I get it, we nice on the D line, but it ain't get it done. Like we literally cut our sacks in half from last year. Something's right. not getting yeah. done. It's time to make an adjustment. Nope. Right. Nope. Why? Why is players not getting off like they was last year? You need to make an adjustment. You need to blitz more. You need to run some stunts. Something has to change. I feel like we saw the problems in our face and nobody changed. It's like, all right, well, maybe it won't. Maybe it'll, it was like insanity. Maybe it'll work this week. Oh, maybe it'll work this week. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. it's not. We digressly didn't work until it didn't fucking work. <laughs> oh man, this shit's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, damn, that sounds the fucking rough. pipe bomb, man. That sounds rough. All right. So Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Believe it or not, I'm actually a Jalen Hurts fan. Don't get tricked out with the, the social media say, ladies and gentlemen at home. Believe it or not, I know nobody's going to believe that shit. But the season that y'all went to the bowl, that summer before then, I was arguing with plenty Eagles fans in that summer before the season about how nice Jalen Hurts is and is about mm-hmm. to be especially that he got A.J. Brown and good old line, Smith, another year of Smith, all of that. And a lot of people was like, they shouldn't have got rid of Wentz. A lot of people was like, he's not that good. That's a Philly thing. And then he goes off. Is that second in MVP? Probably would have won it if he didn't get hurt. Um, balls out in the Super Bowl, although he's a reason they lost a reason. But he did ball out. He did right? ball out. What ha- what's the... It seems like he got paid and regressed. Is that true, or is there, or is there something else? No, I don't think he. I don't think like he took a like he regressed. Like I, it was never a purpose. Obviously, obviously, it, yeah. I just think he got it. He got. He definitely got a big payday, but I don't think it was in his. I don't think it was in his hands what was placed in front of him. If you got right. two people, like I said, if you got two people running the seam on, you got third and two. It's third and two. You got two seam routes as your tight ends, and then the two people on the outside going out. If you put one people in that bu- one person in both, bu- and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You put yeah, one I know person what in between about. that bubble. You, you can you can blitz not you can blitz nine motherfuckers like right. You can you can really blitz. You all you need is three people. You got you got three people in the same zone almost. So damn, we don't have nothing going across the middle. He has nothing to look for. You know what I'm saying like I'm not going to say he's. He's he's not he's not Manning or Brady where he, he can make two choices through three choices. He's not one of those people. He got right. his pick, but his pick should be way more open than his pick is. There's no way Dak got his pick too. Dak is no need. I don't think Dak is. He's not. 
with, I, I think veteran wise, it, as in like mm-hmm. a, a quarterback, because he's a veteran, he's better than Jalen only because he's a veteran. I don't think they have a right. skill set that's better than either one of them. I think they're both equally, <sighs> equally as good. I mean, I'm, I don't, whatever, whatever you want to take that, but no, I can live with that. I think they're, I mean, okay, if you want to give a notch, it's a fucking small notch where, where that small notch is here and Tom Brady and fucking Peyton Manning is up there. That's what I'm saying when it comes to the yeah, quarterback yeah. position. Right. So you don't have this person up here, but that got motherfuckers open. Motherfuckers. Is, Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Jalen didn't have that. He didn't have nobody wide open, nobody to rely on, nobody to be like, I can throw it to Ferguson or I can throw it to CD or I can throw it to Gallup because they're going to be in the zone that I'm looking at already. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like it was, it wasn't his fault that these people wasn't there. These people are, no, these motherfuckers was running a route. Like this is why Travis Kelsey is open all the time because they had a great coach like fucking Andy Reid says, uh, Z run a nine, X run a seven, whoever the fuck runs something else. Travis find the bubble. That's that's right. a simple situation where as though he's going to get open. He's always looking back. He's not running his route to the fullest. I feel like they was just like. The coaching was, like, fucked up on offense, bro. It was so fucked up. They gave Jalen no fucking options, bro. They gave him nothing. They gave him out routes on people running the route. They running the full route, not even looking back. Like, nigga, you got to – somebody got to look back early. Tyreek, he looking back the whole fucking time. So, get open. Like, how you going to run a whole seven? Y'all both running – like, bro, it's – it's crazy. Damn. So, do you but, think – okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, so So it's not really I, – I don't. I wouldn't say it's – Jalen fought like he didn't digress. He digressed because of what was opportunity to him. Last year he did amazing. We ran the RPO. We didn't run that this year at all. Which right. is, I don't even know. We why not? We had a better running back. Love love Miles. Fuck with you, Miles. But Swift is a better running back. I just think with veteran, it came with it. He's, he's a better back. So I agree with that. With 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 the RPO, you got Swift coming with the RPO. And then, like, it's not even like Kenny Gainwell's trash. He's good. He's good. Like, he can fucking yeah, get Yeah, he's a ball. good backup. So, you got you got the utilize of having Kenny Gainwell and fucking him in the backfield. You can have a three wide receiver set, maybe two in the tight end. You That's a fucking set right there, whereas the RPO can come either way. RPO come either right. way. You got somebody coming across the middle. You got, it's just too much shit. It's like, no way I'm saying this right now, and they not thinking this. Like, they just was right. like, we're going to run. I don't care what the defense is. We running the same shit. Like, nothing changed. Nothing changed from week right. to week. Nothing changed. Nothing. Wow. It's and just to real. think That's that them niggas was, was like, 10 and 1, bro. Huh? To think them niggas was 10 and 1 we was with that shit that you talk about? 10 and 1. We was, I, I swear, we was winning off swag and grit alone. Right. That was all we, we was winning off. Like, you know, when, 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 we, went to, when we went to play y'all in Dallas, like, the, did I think any either team was like way superbly better on the real shit? No, I think they was like equal teams. Honestly, like I think they equal. They both do shit great. Whatever they both got, I think they were equal team at the yeah. time. Dallas came in like they had the biggest dick in the world, bro. They came. In, I mean, obviously <laughs> they was in their own stadium, but bro, we came out so lethargic. It's like I think that carried them like that. That that swagger of being the defending, not the defending champs, but the, the runner ups. <laughs> At the, uh-huh. In the hot seat, we running off the fossil fumes of last year of we the dog, and we just got swag right now. That's why we win, and we got swag. We who did we bu- who asked did we bust? Nobody. Right, I know nobody. Who asked bro. did we bust? We barely beat the nobody. Barely beat the Vikings. We barely beat every fucking body, and we kept the same shit like we was doing good. Right, right. Like, like it was a cop. Like niggas was talking about this shit all season. Like, yeah, man, it's the fucking most unbelievable team in ten and two, and. Sure, I love my team. Never go against the family, but it was true. It's not even. It was true, bro. Like we stayed the same and never changed, expecting shit to change. And I don't know, if, like, how I'm seeing that, and they not seeing that. And I don't make sense. Like, it's just like right. our situational play calling was fucking awful. It it, it was a disaster, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That shit is crazy, bro. And I loved every second of that shit to the Cowboys that fucked everybody else over. That I can't even talk shit, but. What was I going to say? So, a lot of people say that the 49ers game broke the Eagles. Is that true? Or did, or from what you're saying, it was already... It was already a sinking ship. That's what it I thought. It was already a sinking ship, yeah. and they fucking... Uh, they just hit a, a fucking bigger fucking a iceberg. A wall. Yeah, they just hit bro. a bigger iceberg. Like, they, they sinking, hitting icebergs on the way down. They just hit the biggest one. Like, oh, we really sinking now. Everybody yeah, bro. Sinking. 
the water can see we got holes in us. Like, it's like right. they can see now. Like, these people are being able to be exposed. And it's like, once you got this one-dimensional ass offense, no motions, no trickery, no nothing. This is like, this, I, and then it's not even like the standard shit. Like, I can see if it was standard, no trickery, fucking eye formation, power eye right, single back. We doing shotgun single back, no back. I, no listen, back. I don't fuck with no, no back. back. No back is like at is all. No back fucking just empty backfield. Empty back. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Fucking, I'm full back zero back. I said everything wrong. Empty right, backfield good. is not a thing that I fuck with. We ran empty yeah. backfield more than we ran power eye, and that's fucking saying something. Right. Right. That's just ass backwards, bro. It don't make sense. The playbooks right. don't make sense, bro. It just don't, like. I swear to God, if we had San Fran playbook, and that's it. It'd be cooked. That's it, bro. If we had San be... Fran, like it would be a different. This is a different eagle. Whole different eagles with San Fran playbook. Whole different eagles because we got motion. We got people. We got AJ Brown coming in the backfield. Like they had so much variety for shit. This is the NFL. Right. You got to be progressive, bro. You gotta. You can't come with the same shit every week. People are watching. Right, right. Yeah. And all bro. jokes aside, bro. Oh, some real shit was to speak about that empty backfield, gun empty. I noticed because 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 back to what you were saying about the coordinating and the play calling. Yeah, I noticed especially in the Dallas game, but the Forty uh, ers game too. Whenever they would put Swift out wide or Gainwell out wide from the backfield to go five wide, teams were blitzing right when they knew he was about to snap it. They wouldn't even show it. They would they would show it, move up a tad bit, and then blitz him late. And it's like. Every time Jalen Hurst got blitz, he didn't do good, and they did not adjust at all. No, they just kept running that same backfield shit. Empty, they, nobody empty. motion. They come out with nobody empty fucking backfield. No yes. motions. <clears throat> we gonna run the play. No hard. He would get blitz no late, did and we that even was get it. A fucking offsides all year? Probably not. <laughs> Probably from a fuck. Maybe from the touch push, but from yeah, from yeah, regular yeah. hard. We didn't get no hard snaps. We didn't. It was just like all right. We got a playbook and we got plays. Like we gonna run them shits. Like. Nigga, yeah. you need more variety. Like, I don't like who. Like, do you have a whole bunch of yes men around you? Like, that's that, it's just crazy to me. Like, how to be up that that high? It just, it's not like, and it's not like I'm speaking rocket science. Everybody can see that our offense did not change from week one to fucking week eighteen. It did not change, right. bro. Right. It, when, when you put the the CD Lamb and the, the the AJ Brown tree bracket next to each other, AJ Brown tree bracket was like that all year. All year. All year it was. How the fuck do you got empty zones in a tree bracket as a wide receiver in the NFL? <laughs> like, only nigga that can do that is Randy Moss, bro. All That's nines. it. That's, <laughs> That's it. That's all Randy needs That's is it. a nine. That's what? it. This is not the same game. You can't do that. It's not the same game. You need variety. Fuck a wide receiver screen. Get his ass across the middle. Get his ass up in the fucking post. Deshaun Jackson used to be wide. We had a wide, wide open, open nigga all year, bro. Like we didn't have Damn. one person that was like, yo, like like the year prior, RPO, play action fake, boom, somebody wide the fuck open. It I was lit, it. bro. I just don't know where the playbook went and what changed, but it fucked us, bro. And that and that fucked us more than the talent because the talent speak for itself. Obviously, they made it to the playbook. Absolutely. The talent speak for itself. They got it's just as much talent as the Dallas can make to the fucking Super Bowl, just as much talent as fucking the Chiefs can make it. They like I don't think no team has a fuck. Well, except San Fran, I think San Fran. And only reason I think San Fran is kind of just got a little bit of a notch is because honestly, because they they play book crazy, but they got a they they they, they kind of got a degress though because they got a they got a stock ass quarterback. So like it's not right. like if they had Patty Mahomes, then it'd be a fucking rap. But they got Absolutely. a stock quarterback, so <laughs> it's a yeah. different situation. So it kind of balanced yeah. out. But they was really the only juggernauts this year that was really bombing niggas and like. Yeah, that was it, really. And they playbooks, they playbook nasty, bro. Debo in the backfield, Debo motion here. You got Christian McCaffrey. You can play fucking center, left guard, wide receiver, tight end. He can play right. coach. He can kick the ball. Come on now. Right, right. I know it. I know it. So me and uh, TP, we were talking the other episode about Mike McCarthy's job because you you go in, you're twelve and five every year. You either get bounced out the wild card, the divisional, or the wild card. You cap out. And, of course, this nigga is back in office. So that's the end of that. Regardless of how we feel, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Yo, nothing can say that no though, point. 
The Cowboys loyal to their motherfuckers, bro. Yes, they are. They don't get rid of nobody. They don't get rid of nobody. Nope. Loyal to life. Loyal to life. Bro, that nigga had Jason Garrett for 10 years too long, bro. So I was telling niggas, I was like, bro, if this nigga could get 10 years, they're not firing Mike McCarthy. You think you think Mark, Mark, Mike McCarthy was 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 part of that? Pro, like, is like what do, you, what, what do you think in the progression of the last five years? What he has not done or done or not changed? What, what, what was the what's the whole thing? All right, what he's done, he's made Dak better. The best okay. years of Dak's career outside of last year because he fucked his hand up, he's throwing picks, fumbling the ball. The first year of Dak was really good, so the playoffs. Last this year was his best year, and Mike McCarthy was um. Calling the plays. He had the best year of his career until the playoffs. One thing I will tell you about Mike McCarthy, though, and I don't know how you I don't know how you how you fix this. We led the, we lead the league in penalties just about every year. Top That's three, top five. Top really? three, top five for the every year he's been there since 2020. Damn. How how does that happen? Every single year you're that undisciplined. I, I mean, don't get well, it. I, okay, I would give you part of that is definitely because undisciplined. And another part is that is because y'all got a big ass target on y'all back for just because yeah, y'all are right. cowboys. So yeah. so there's a percentage of that that's not anyone's fault, but you know yeah. the lineage of the cowboys. But yeah, right. that that's also true a part that you definitely need to tone in on that de- that, that that discipline because if Belichick was there, that shit ain't happening. Oh my God. Niggas probably <laughs> would have been cut, bro. They're yeah, like, bro, true. how we talk about this shit every week. <laughs> every single week and we have 10 plus penalties a game still that's Yo. crazy i never um, noticed that no that's it's bad he he he's he made Dak really good he simplified the offense because the past couple of years it was kellen moore calling the plays and kellen the moore kellen moore had a juggernaut offense okay. that just puts up stats points but as far as to winning football and Kellen Moore, he didn't have something like that was his calling. Like you know how Mike Shanahan or Kyle, whatever the 49ers coach name is, he his his calling card is run plays. How he could design runs and motions and screens out of that and play it. Kellen Moore didn't right. have nothing. Mike McCarthy helped fix some things with uh stretching the ball down the field, but right. in my opinion, he just you gotta get it done in the in the playoffs. I, I, yeah, twelve I, and five every year is cool. Yeah, but for for what? We, we, okay, so for for the most recent laws, do you think that he could have made an adjustment that would have made that game have a different outcome? Yes. Stop what running was, the what? ball. Put the ball I, in Dak Prescott's hand every single play, unless it's short yards. Okay. There was th- this dude Dak first down, little slant. Gets tackled as soon as he catches second and eight. Run the ball third and nine. It's like, bro, stop running oh, the damn wait, ball. Wait, hold up. No, so my my yes. roommate, my, where I live now, my roommate he a Cowboys fan. So we watched the game together. We watched that game together. And bro, uh-huh. when I tell you, I was coaching. I was doing my whole little thing. Like sometimes I watch a game and I'll coach it out or whatever X Y Z because I'm a weirdo like that. And I'm like, yo, this is for the reason why. Is this bad right now, bro? You're you're gonna pass on first and ten, and then run on second, and then now it's third and eight. It's third and eight, bro. That shit was like that the whole game, y'all. The whole game. game, the whole fucking game. I'm looking like, why the fuck he keep doing that? And you haven't had a run game all year, and, and you have not have. If you're gonna run the that damn ball, job. throw the shit to set bro, up the I run. I wish he was here right now because I said that shit to him. I was like, yeah. Bro, I, I swear to God, I wish he was here right now. Because that was the literal words I said. I said, this is why the reason why I'm going to lose this game. This nigga keep running on fucking second. And it keep... And it's going like, nowhere. It's the running game already not popping. So why would you do that on first down if it's already not popping? Exactly. You you're if you're automatically guaranteed now a third and long. And then not That's only what did I'm you saying. just waste everybody's time with first down because you had incomplete pass, you wasted every fucking body's time on first down. On first down and second. It's like, bro, you throw the ball to set up the run. It, it just is what it is. Like how you were saying with the adjustments with Philly, with him, you didn't have a run game the whole year. Tony Pollard probably had two 100-yard games. We couldn't run. He's averaging like three a carry. It was really bad. The O-line, they can pass block. They cannot run block. It's not all Tony Pollard. 
Yeah. But what I'm saying is, bro, at some point, fix it. You see the run's not working. You This is Dak's best year of his career. Right. So if we're going to lose, put the shit all on him then and then set it up for the run. But it was just terrible. Do you think that he did put a little bit, a lot on him and then like maybe he thought that maybe like after he threw one of those interceptions that it was like in his head? No, I don't think so. I think he's just a dumbass. Okay. No, no, no. So what do you so 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 you you you're in, Mc, in Mike McCarthy's shoes, right? You see your quarterback Dak Prescott just throwing interception in the playoffs. You talking about the Jair one or the pick six? The, I'm talking about the first one. So Jair, the Jair one. You throw the first one, and I, which honestly I don't think it was one thousand percent his fault, but still, you see him. Th- it's just the playoffs. You know what I'm saying yeah. like it's not like this is not. You got to uh, think about the player. He might have a little history in this area. So yeah. So you thinking yourself right now, damn, he just did that. Let me give it back to him. Or are you thinking, let, let me, me give it back to him. Let me give it back to him. Right. And let me say why I say that. This dude, okay. you paid him the big bucks for this reason, bro. He ain't paying him shit. Jerry paid him. Are you? Okay. Okay. But you get the point, though. He is support. supposed to be the leader of the team. You're right. He didn't pay him. He He's supposed to be the leader of the damn team. He's supposed yeah. to be the MVP candidate that he is. Yeah. And... You throw a pick, that don't mean put training wheels on him. That's Just true. maybe flip the game plan a little bit. Maybe throw to set up the run on, on short downs. Okay, okay. Now I got a question for you, right? You're okay, still coaching. Ahead. You're still coaching. You're still coaching. You're still doing your thing. And you're like, all right, let me give him back the ball. He throws his second interception. Now where you at? But he was already going down the field, though. Nigga, it don't matter. Y'all don't got a ball no more. Yeah, we don't <laughs> got a ball no more. It's a pick six. It's a pick six. You're right. So no. the pick six made it 27 nothing. Then he went down and scored. So the that, game so was over by then, though. So it's I'm like, just, go ahead. Okay, I'm just asking what you do as a, what you do as a coach. I'm asking. Yeah. You so, you. so basically, they get the ball, they score. Yeah. You get the ball, you get stopped. Mm-hmm. They get the ball, they score fourteen zero. You get the ball, he throws a pick, twenty one zero or twenty because he missed it. He, he missed a kick. Hold on. We ball. got we got TP in here. Hold on. There he is, T P. There he is. What up? Yo. There he is. Yo, yo, yo. What up, T P? There he is. T Pizzle. T P. Yeah, All right, we in here. I've been hearing a little bit of what y'all was talking about. So Yeah, okay, good. So right. before you go, what I would say was so it's twenty to zero now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you you got to put the because based off the question you're asking for that game specific. Yeah. You gotta put it in you down twenty. For that specific question. What are you okay. gonna do? Run the ball now? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right. But I'm saying though, you got a, you got a history that's happening with this person. Do you? I mean, because you're not. I mean, as you as you thinking as you, Mike McCarthy, you're not paying this motherfucker. I want to win. What is your? Do you like? All right. Well, I'm a. Let me see what the running back can do. Or just fuck it. He got to You got to make well, something happen, Dak. And that specific instance, you're down twenty, bro. That's true. You're, you're, right down, you're down twenty. It's five minutes left. You're yeah. getting down the field. He throws a pick six. Before that pick six, you had to throw the ball anyway. That's true. But I don't know. TP, how about you, bro? All right, hold on. What was y'all talking about? I heard what you, you said. You heard his qu- So his, go ahead. Go ahead, Malik. So basically, I was saying like, so you know, Capers brought up that, you know, I'm not going to keep, he wants to keep putting the ball in the deck's hands instead of like getting the run going. Because it wasn't working. Game. Or just in the general, like the last couple of years, basically, of, you know, Dak's career or whatever, X, Y, Z. So he's basically saying, like, you're Mark McCarthy, right? You're playing this game against, you know, Green Bay, and you go down and you guys throw a pickoff. Like, is your first notion to be like, I got to get him back active so he can get back this shit together? Or let me get some runs popping to, like, keep his composure? Uh, hmm. It all depends. I mean, I'm... I'm going to call the plays for a four-minute drive right back down the field. That's what I'm calling the plays for, whether right. that's be it a run or the pass. I feel like I feel like we always are our best when we can run the ball, period. I don't okay, that's what, the center. We can't. That's a problem. Nah, that's a specific we, we, question. We can't. We can't. We, we My thing we is, can. like, you got – I don't we, care it's how – like, It's listen, the bro. how we run the ball is the problem. It's the how. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's I feel like that's a lot of that, like the hell. 
Yeah, because then I'm then I'm then I'm asking you. You still Mike McCarthy, right? You still Mike McCarthy. You still tooth into the game. You throw your first pick, and you you just said maybe you lean on the run a little bit more. Then you go back down there, you throw another pick. Pick six. Now a pick six. Now you sitting in the super hot seat. I mean, it was already the shit was already hot enough at the point, but yeah. Now it's like damn, like this shit falling on me now at this point. I ain't even, I'm not even fucking playing. Like I'm saying, you get me, you got to get me fried, bro. You drawing. I'm about to right. run the ball. You got to right. think like, I'm Mike McCarthy, bro. You about to get me fired because you keep fucking, I'm about to run the ball. Not even to say like it was his fault or whoever fucking, you know what I mean? Right. I'm just saying like, I'm not, you put me in that because like, niggas ain't thinking about you throwing an interception. They think I called the fucking dumbass pass play. And not exactly. Just, you know what I'm saying? So Triple like, slay it. Like, what the fuck? There's a lot of fucking little, yeah, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. But, again, even if you run the ball to your question, bro, you still got to set the shit up with the pass, though. Because the do, way the season's saying, been going, the way the game the has ball been going. First, running the ball gets the job done. Anybody that's ever won any, any game, most games, run, you got to run the If you can ball. run, no, but they couldn't run. That's why I'm saying based off the play calling. You're, you're quick slant, second and seven. You okay. see the right. stat line I just I said. I can't it's find true. it right now, it but I saw this crazy stat where it was up the middle. We're averaging less than a yard per run. Damn. My point. The whole season. And that's what they was Every, running, up the up middle. Up the middle, we're averaging less than a yard per run. What can you do with that? You can't do shit with that, but you still got to <laughs> run. Listen, I don't give a fuck if you – Yeah, listen, you do you still never, have listen, to run it. Yes, yes. Match, Yes, you, yes. No, you, you still, still got to run boxing it. boxing match, you but, never jabbed them the whole fight. You still got to throw the jab. You, you still, still got to jab. That's why, like, that's why I said it's how we run the ball. Like, we got running backs where we need to run outside zone plays. Right. Outside and, and that's And, and that comes down to every team with the coaching. Because the coaching, they'll situate, like, okay, let's say y'all y'all was getting stuffed on 32 ISO every time. That's why y'all couldn't get over here. Y'all, y'all was running 32 ISO every time. Instead of trying to figure out a different way to run that 32 ISO, they'll still run that same 32 fucking ISO thinking it's going to work. No, you got to, you got to, I mean, and I'm no professional, result. I'm no coach, I'm not on no team, so I don't know exactly what they do. I assume they do this because I'm talking about it. There's no way nobody else thought of this. But right. it don't seem like they thought of it. Like, it's like, how did you make an adjustment? Maybe you maybe you put a, yeah. you, you motion somebody into that gap, or maybe you do a, a crisscross block, or maybe you put a fucking tight end back there. Who knows? Switch it up. Like, the there's no me, way you can still get stuck. You got to, it's just chess. You got to figure out a way to get that jab in there. You got to. Right. I agree with that point. And that's, and that's across the board for all coaches. Every so. team. I know. I agree yeah. with that point. I agree with that point. I agree with that. I was just saying, like based I, off of how this shit was going, bro, you can't run it. You can run it, but you got to, you got to throw base and set it up. Yeah. You got, okay. I mean, I and feel your like. defense has to have the ability to be able to keep you in the game. <clears throat> I mean, true, that's, yeah, true. true. That's one thousand percent true. You know what I'm saying like that's true. I felt we had life in that third quarter after that field goal. We had life. Yeah. There was some life in the I stadium. Feel like it's it's so different though. Defense not the same no more. I feel like niggas be like except the Eagles. I mean, I love my team, but niggas team oh, niggas man, be Eagles open. Fan? Jesus, I'm saying no. I'm saying no. Niggas niggas yeah, be Eagles open. Man. Niggas oh. be open. You know what I'm saying like in the other teams, like niggas be open, like niggas just be open, like nowadays, like compared to back in the day when niggas was getting, bro, niggas be putting up seventy. We ain't never seen no seventies when we of, was growing up. A lot up. of that, when you see guys open, a lot of that come off of we scheme this guy open. Yeah, because they ran the ball three times and did a play action fake and rolled out, and the fucking tight end was butt naked. Nah, in the fucking not necessarily flag. like, especially <laughs> like now, especially like now, I see a lot of rub route concepts. Yeah. To get guys the ball, and I feel like we did that this year, and then we didn't do that this year. Like it was it's like yeah, but it's like the like, fuck it's no. like like I don't, understand. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, it's like I don't Yo, understand nigga... why. And if something's working, yeah. I'm never going away from it. That's gonna be in my game plan every week until somebody shows me that they can stop it. I feel like yeah. a lot of people don't be doing that. But I'm mm-hmm. like a on, lot of people do that, and then when people start to stop it, they don't fucking change from that. It's like you, nah, you got to be forever. Nah, you, that's what I'm saying. You got to, as an offense, you're supposed to open the playbook up a little bit more every week. I feel like don't, but, but well, you team. keep that. You keep your same core of what you yeah, do, your, your identity. But then you right. have that ability to switch it up. You know, what I, mean? I think San Fran did that the best this year. I yeah, mean, absolutely. Yeah, because they had the yeah, ability absolutely. to run the football, to, to adapt and, and run. Do that. And like 
bro, they 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 playbook freaky, like porno shit. Like <laughs> that shit is Man. crazy, bro. That shit, bro. They playbook really bananas. Bro. Yeah, that's what that's what happens when you have great coordinators. Back, though. Single back in the same play in yeah. the same motion. Yeah. It's, you don't know what the fuck about to happen. Yep. That's what happens when you got good coordinators, innovative minds. That's why I say, like, honestly, you got to go younger and more innovative. Yeah, and like my these older coaches to win, is too to set in their ways. They too like if Javon Hargrave said really that shit about change. switching, that mean them motherfuckers was over there in San Fran. They out there every day. Listen, this is what we gonna do. This shit called NASCAR. You go around the back, you flip this way, and like they out there getting that shit in. And that's what's absolutely gonna fucking win. That's what it's gonna fucking take. Absolutely, bro. They be Absolutely. fucking moving around, bro. I watch their games, bro. They be Y'all watch fucking the quarterback? bouncing around, bro. What happened? The, the, the Netflix series? Y'all watch the quarterback? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. About yeah say, that's Kirk. what Pat Mahomes Kirk. and them do. Yeah, yeah. Pat Mahomes. They be out there yeah. playing yeah. back on football and shit. I'm like, bro, that's it, man. Like, that's what happens. Like, when you have, when your coordinators and your coaches give you the players freedom to, like, you know what I mean, like, incorporate things into the offense, you get things right. like that. But, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know what I mean? But we never feel like we never going to get no coach like that because, you know what I mean, Jerry, bro. Yeah. Jerry Jerry, not going for none of that. I think it's a lot of – yeah, yeah, definitely Jerry. Jerry. Jerry a loyal motherfucker, though, I'll tell you that. That (laughs) nigga loyal. He hard-headed, bro. bro. He hard-headed. loyal, bro. I'm just trying to get signed for a day. I ain't never leaving. (laughs) <laughs> That's it. That's it. You ain't never gonna leave, bro. That yeah, nigga bro, love his thing. The Cowboys, you acting crazy. <laughs> no, nah, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. You said what you said. No, you said what you I said. Nigga. Check, Jerry. No, nah, but so I was gonna ask you about Nick Sirianni because what I was saying earlier was yeah. we were talking about Mike McCarthy's job and yeah, I said, did you? I think we capped out. TP said he wouldn't mind bringing him back. We we talked about it on the other episode. Go check that out. In your opinion, does Nick Sirianni get fired a year after the bowl, going to the bowl? Um, after having 10 and 1, and then. I don't think he gets fired only because, I mean, we did have a playoff berth. Our team was. had a winning record. Like, he, he did have some good things that went for him now. Like, when you look at the actual Eagles, like, they just digress. They slow. They started here and just, they never went up. They never had an up since. They started. It was just like they was winning. They was luckily winning, but they was gradually just dropping the whole time. Like nobody right. was really surprised that they lost because of what the fuck they displayed. Right. From the, you know, even the whole season, even when like I say, even when we won, everybody was like, like, Ugh, like, man, we won, but Ugh. like you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah, right. Even when we won, so like it was, it was a forever digress. So like that part, I think, is something that they will look at. But I think because of what's on the board and what got done and who went to that play uh, the, to the All Star and Jason Kelsey retiring, I think they do keep him for at least another year. I think so. I think so. Do I think it's a good decision? I I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't think it's a good decision. You think this? You, you think it, you, wait. What you trying to say? I never. I never liked Nick Sirianni. I'm not gonna lie. What? I like Nick Sirianni. Not even last year. <laughs> No, well, he, well, well, yeah, he wasn't. He was really. cheesy, bro. He yeah. a cheesy boy. Like when you say shit, like, like you can tell, like, no, nah, listen, uh, whoever hearing this, it is what it is. And if you get back to whoever, back get back to it, get back to whoever, get back to. But I'm saying, like, when you get, when you you just know that the ball that like just do weird, sh- like y'all y'all win or whatever, and you or y'all about to win or whatever, and you got somebody doing extra shit to people and like, yeah, like fuck out of here, like. And it's like, bro, like, no, this ain't that, bro. And like, for you to be the coach and be doing shit like that is like, I don't like that shit, bro. Like, me shit, either. I'm not, I'm not a fan of like, when, 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 like, when, when you win, like, you know what I'm saying, especially as a coach, as somebody that's leading these fucking kids, like, or whatever X Y Z. I don't like that shit. And he was, he really famous for doing that shit. The shit he did to the Chiefs, the shit when he first Man. got, he was wearing a fuck Dallas shirt. So well, yeah, like, beat like, Dallas. I get it, but like, he was doing a little bit too act to like, he just got like, like. Yeah, like I'm supposed to be here. Like he got that, whatever that is. Like yeah, yeah. That's not. It's not it, bro. We can <laughs> we can see right through it. And like everybody do. I think I think. And like mm-hmm. if they don't fuck me no more for saying that, but I really fully think that because it just don't. It's not. It's not real. He's not Mike Tomlin. Like if you step yeah. in the room, if you step in the room with Mike Tomlin, it's fucking Mike Tomlin. Fuck who you is. It's like nigga, a ten at hut. 
Right. I, don't, I just don't feel the same way with Nick Sirianni. It's not like it's like oh shit, like no coach, like hey, like he like yeah. it's not it's not that it's not so like he like what? a he like a mascot. And in ways like that, in ways, in ways, he's like a mascot though. He's like a fucking like mascot that, because he just a little too say, free, a little too like you look at the whole. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not yeah. with the whole like, like even like there was a clip that went out when when like I said he gave the team like the middle finger or some shit and, and Jalen pulled his arm down like yo what you doing you drawing like yeah. there's no reason for you to be getting coached like that from your like what the fuck are you doing bro right. and like you just give me that energy like I know people like this man and I've seen them in real life and they act just like like whoa oh, like 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 it's just no no it, that's no. gonna be. Dead and gone. And they just, they got lucky. Honestly, whoever the fuck was calling the plays last year, the RPO shit, that was all them. Like, all that nigga hit, man. I was no, just about no, to man. say, I was just about to say, bro, like, if you look at the whole picture, y'all were 9-7. and seven when you, First time head coach, y'all was 9-7. and seven. Y'all play calling was horrid. My man gave the play calling up. Y'all see what happened. Y'all, were, y'all, y'all look real good. My man go to Indiana. They look real good. My man take over the play calling. Nah, nah. Brian Johnson takes over the play calling. And then what really threw me when I really knew it was his job needed to be going was when he came on the podium and was like, oh, yeah, he's running my offense. I said, oh, yeah, this is your offense. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said, I can't yo. believe he said that. I can't believe he said that. When he said that, I said, yo. oh, yeah, he's out of there. Oh, bro, I like said, he's he going to be the like- first thing smoking. Bro, when it was like talking about the like the tush push and the Philly shove, he was just like, "Oh, I kind of like that." Like, it's just like he give me this like jolly. Like, I don't like my coach to be like that, nigga. I need you to be fucking fucking a ten hut, nigga. I don't, I don't like you uh, to be all I mean, cool when, when, and when, my uh, head poppy and shit like that. Shit when y'all like, first hired him, when y'all first hired him, I was like, I don't like that shit. When y'all first hired like, him, I ain't he never literally seen said he's going to bring y'all all the way back to the basics. I think that's exactly. I think I think I'll quote him almost word for word. He said he going y'all going to be basic, and that's exactly what y'all is basic. No, nah, real shit. I, I out there nah, getting strapped. Shit. We but out there. No, we, we be running Jaylen, basic plays. Jaylen not being yeah, able to basic. Be basic offense. It's basic as shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. We run like inside. We're like if you ever play man, we run inside Nobody fucking run. Run, inside dive and motherfucking. <laughs> fucking uh-huh. all go. I know. That's all we run. <laughs> I know. That's all we run. I'm like, I don't, I don't fucking know what happened this year, bro. Like, I was trying to be never go against the family and all that shit, but like, bro, shit is fucked, bro. And like the people, like, there's no, there's nothing to blame to Jalen. Jalen is not in control of any of that shit, bro. He it's is, not man. like he's he he's saying like, oh, let's run this. No, Jalen's not in control of any of that. Like, he might see a look and make this, but he's not in control of any of that shit. Like, all right, so hold on, hold on. Malik, I mean not Malik, TP. You think Jalen is in control of that? To a certain extent, yeah. He's not. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're the one with the football in your hands. You're the one that's dropping back to pass. And I don't care what nobody says. He struggles to recover and struggles to find the open man. He does a lot of, I'm going to trust my guy and throw it up. He doesn't really read the coverage. All right, well, I got I to gotta rebuttal to that. For, yeah, for least, I, I for, knew it was coming. I, for you at least know, this you year. Know, you know that's coming. You know that's coming. For at least this year. Listen, the only reason he couldn't find an open receiver because there was no open receiver to find. I love you, this AJ Brown, cap. but it, people, this is no, cap. people was not open, bro. There was nobody open. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. But then there's a lot of Most times. Most of the time, there was really nobody listen, open. Listen, listen. I, prom- I, I watch our games just as much as I watch our games. There's a lot of times he's sitting back there. He's looking at AJ Brown and Devontae Smith is coming across the field wide open. It's a few times like that. A few times, and and that's a possibility. That's a possibility. That that is why I won't. I won't discredit that. Last at all. year, last year, your offense revolved around a lot of RPOs and one 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 read. You know what I mean? When you force yeah, him RPO, to come off that read. first yeah, yeah. read, yeah. his numbers start to drop. But you check this out, right? RPO, read, they, the they ran an RPO last year, right? And both mm-hmm. players, every player was still on that team. Every player that you talking about was still on that yeah, team. Yeah, but y'all, still on that team. Same, but it's not the same offense. At the, the, uh, whose fault is that? That's not Jalen Hurts' fault. And it's okay, not so, Jalen Hurts' fault. They yeah, don't run that okay, same Okay, but offense. but you're bringing me you're bringing me to my point of when every when when my brother called him a system quarterback. 
the whole world was in an outrage. Oh, yeah, there was, there was an outrage, outrage on Micah. The whole That's world they was that in nigga. an outrage. Yeah, I remember when that. When Micah called him a system He was like, is that the system? Yeah. The whole world was in an outrage. But now y'all seeing it. Now y'all seeing it. Okay, he really was the product of that man's system. Okay, so now... Y'all upset that y'all paid a system quarterback all that money because now y'all got to go find a system for him to fit again. My thing is, mm. the system that we have was crap. The one that we got this year, don't test nobody's system. Can't. Tom Brady but couldn't make that listen, fucking system work. The difference, the difference is, the difference is, low key, the difference is, y'all have a hundred dollars, y'all have a hundred million dollar receiver, y'all have a two hundred and fifty five million dollar quarterback. Y'all can't be a run first team. Because then y'all got to pay a running back. That is true. Yeah. Y'all got to pay a running back then. And y'all don't want to do yeah. that. That's why y'all didn't want Swift be. Swift could have been the league leading rusher. Exactly. We didn't didn't really, he was on that trajectory too. Him. He was. Yeah. We didn't y'all run didn't the ball. Pay him. We didn't want to pay him. We didn't run the ball. We y'all got, didn't want to pay him. Y'all didn't want to pay him. Because if you use him Swift. like that. if you Listen. If you use him like that. If he goes and he wins awards, y'all have to pay him. If y'all don't yeah, pay him, it's going to be outraged. Is that Jalen Hurts' fault, though? Yeah. Yeah, he How took $255 million. He took $255 million. How is that his fault, though, that the, 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 the offensive change? The offense, like, it's not his fault the offense changed. He made, he made it to the Super Bowl. But he got to run the there. offense, though. He got to run the offense. No, no, he's a player. He's that not a play, coach. Listen, that played at a high level he, regardless of the coordinator. He, bro, he only been in the league four years. He's not Tom level. He can't just be out there. I'm calling plays. How many quarterbacks you know? Dak, call Dak, had, Dak had Jason Garrett. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. J- hey. After, after, after Jason Garrett left Dallas, he had two seasons. And you see he where he's at. He's in a broadcast booth. He's in a broadcast booth. He's not coaching no more. I'm, I'm saying, though. That it's not his fault that the offense changed, but it, but he has the, all the talent in the world to make it work. Not if you call it. Yes, like you got to think. Yes. they're calling two seams and two outs. Listen on the, on the nine listen, blitz. Listen, 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 listen. I understand. You got a person right at, here. At, at some point, at some point, play calling does have an effect. Absolutely. Your ta- the talent that y'all have on your team. The things that I've seen, you bro, see you can't year. tell you can't tell me in that 49ers game when they were making sure he couldn't leave the pocket and he was dropping back and he had four, five, six seconds to throw the ball. You can't tell me nobody came open. You can't tell me nobody came open. That's a long time to guard somebody. It's no way, bro. It's no way. You so you think that nobody was open, or you think that somebody was open and Jalen didn't throw it to him? Both. You can't think both. So you, so you both. think somebody was open listen, and Jalen didn't throw it to him? Listen, no, no, no. Because listen, right? Because that first day might not be open. Do you know how? Like when you when when you dropping back, bro, you're looking at niggas like this. So you yeah. know what I mean? When you, when somebody yeah, might be covered it's at like first, this. you know what I mean? Somebody might be covered at first, and then they're gonna come yeah, open, but you're gonna miss them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna miss them. You're gonna miss them. So you so, so you, you're gonna miss them. So, so basically, you saying that from because uh, he worked in the system that we had last year. The only reason he was good because he worked in that system, and then now that as a as a pocket passer trying to be a, an actual this quarterback, he is actually not really that good that we we think that he is. Yes, 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 yes. Honestly, that's exactly I, right. Okay, okay. So only because we got both sides that you that that we supposedly think now we got to wait until we get something else because we only got two things to go off of. We I got mean, a no, Super Bowl. We, we have, got a Super Bowl. We, we, have the college, we have the college tape to look at too. Because there's not what about, much hold on, hold on. No, wait, wait, wait. What about when he went 16 and 9? He has 16 touchdowns and nine picks the before the bowl. The before the, the year before the bowl. Well, I don't even know what that year was like. I can't even remember. We swept 2021. Show. We swept 2021. Show. He was hard. He they went to the playoffs. Nine and seven. Okay. Barely. Okay. He, that was like okay. it was his second year in the league. Like who, yeah, it's really his first year as a starter. It's really it his first year. His first year as a starter. He Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz played at an MVP level in his second year in the league. With Carson Wentz was a demon. He ass. He was. Now. He was. <laughs> <laughs> He's Carson not Wentz. ass. I hate when people say that. He's not ass. Both of y'all bro. tripping. That nigga Carson is Wentz ass. ass. He's ass He's and ass was ass. ass. He's he was not, not ass. ass then. He's that nigga ass. That nigga was Superman then. Fuck it. No, that nigga was always ass. Him. 
Carson Wentz was him. No, no Carson Wentz was no. outrunning niggas, bro. He was, niggas, bro. He was like, him. Bro. Yes, he was no, him. No, I'll get a he nigga this. Him. I'll get he a nigga him. this. He had crazy escape ability. Yeah. And he, had and he was arm. as big as a nigga. And, and he, he had, had an arm. arm and he was as big as a nigga's. The big, as big as the niggas tackling him too. He's six yeah. five, six six, yeah. strong. Well, I give him that, bro. He was the white. He's bro. fucking trash. He was, he was nice. the white Cam Newton. He was nice. No, he bro. was. Don't you hold he was on, nice, bro. Malik? He was nice. Don't you ever disrespect? Hold on, hold on. You better make me spit my heart out. I know this nigga ain't just fucking saying. This nigga is. Hold on, hell no. He's stretching it. He's stretching it. Hell no. Don't you ever disrespect my nigga like that. You tripping? When niggas say, when niggas say, when niggas say, cowboy fans is delusional. They really hell no. They really make hell no. <laughs> this nigga done made me spit my fucking heart out. No, I'm not talking about listen, listen, I was a big fan. Year. I was a big fan of Carson Wentz, bro. Carson Wentz was really like that. Like he was him. You know, no, he was not. Carson Wentz he was, was really him like for that, fucking bro. seventeen weeks. Yo, let me, all right. Let me let me rebuttal both of y'all because me and me and TP got into this already. So let me just fill you in. Carson Wentz. He says like the that. Eagles. Because I was going to ask this question. He said the Eagles failed to surround the Eagles. Uh, the Eagles Wentz right now talent. would flourish with a Carson Wentz. In his first five years, but with no, listen, listen, Flourish. he said after the bowl, they failed to surround him with talent. I disagree, but that's besides the point. Malik Joe, if you're, your if team, you're real, if you're no, wait, 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 fan, name me three good acquisitions they got for Carson Wentz after the Super Bowl. If you uh, if hold, you on, hold, real, on. If hold on, hold on, hold on, English fan, give me three of them. No, I hold on, hold on. No, there was you can you could arguably say one. No, no, no. You could Malik Joe. Say one. Malik Joe. If your team beats Tom fucking Brady and Bill Belichick without you, how good are you? Defense won them the game. No. This the nigga Nick Foles couldn't be stopped. With the same weapons this nigga had, Tom and Nick Brady Foles is be, trash. Tom Brady couldn't He's, be stopped. He was lucky that Okay that then. Exactly. Tom Brady couldn't be stopped. Wait, Tom Brady say? broke a record. Brady if Brandon stop. Graham didn't yeah, make that play, they could. lose that game. So what does that tell you? Brandon Graham made I mean, a I mean, we still We still put up 41, though. I That's guess, my but point. But what I'm saying is, if Brandon bro, Graham bro, don't bro, make that no. play, Tom Brady go right back down you the field. But, but that ain't the point. The point about it Nick is... Nick Foles still this, put up them points, though. He did. This he nigga did. went toe to fucking toe with... This nigga I'm went toe to toe with Tom Brady. He he put up the the points though. The points count. He put them bitches up. So them like, up. how good are you if the niggas go to the Super Bowl and beat the well, best think, quarterback and coach? Wins, I think if Carson Wentz plays that game, he wins as well though. Who? Oh my God. I don't okay. think I, from that first year, what showed you that he couldn't win that year? Oh, we're the so, nigga is fucking trash, bro. Now well, he's the nigga. We're so Capers. What? This is wait, hold hating. on, wait, hold on, wait, this Capers. Is no, hate. it's a this fact. This is pure Capers. hate you're spilling Capers. right now. This is pure hate you're spilling. It's not. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. hate you're spilling. Go ahead. Who, wait, listen. From the year that Carson Wentz was balling, 11 right. and whatever the fuck he went. 11 All and I know is 11 and, 11 and 0, right? Oh, go ahead. 11 and 0, right? That same year, that Carson Wentz, he plays in Nick Foles' position in the Super Bowl. In the playoffs. Still, you might not even get to that motherfucker with that nigga. That game, bro. Bro, they still get there, bro. They still get there, bro. They still get there. Yo, Capers, yo, Capers, you're acting crazy. Bro, you're acting he's crazy, ass. Capers. How you think you're we acting got crazy. Here? He was an MVP. Because of Carson Wentz. He was an MVP. But it was the team. But it was, was the team MVP. around them. No, 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 no. Without Carson Wentz, without Carson Wentz, they don't do that, bro. Hold on, Carson Wentz, they don't do that, bro. Who's better, Carson Wentz or Nick Foles? Carson Wentz is better than him. He has more talent than him. Why wouldn't we have one? We still had the same team around us. Because I don't think that nigga's that good. I don't think Yo. Nick Foles is that fucking good. He Yo, fucking won. What the fuck is that? That don't Capers. mean a nigga that good. Nick, bro, Foles bro. Did some, Nick Foles did something some magical. magical some magical but shit. But Carson Wentz would have did that very same thing. So if, the Eagles, so basically. If the playoffs still turned out how they did and the uh, Saints Carson lose still to the won. Vikings. Listen, if the Saints lose to the Vikings. Yeah, I mean, what there's yeah. nothing to talk Carson about. There's nothing to talk about. Right, but this is what I'm saying. I just told you I think both of them niggas suck. I just Yo, think Wentz is a little less suck Wentz, than that nigga. Oh, Wentz had like no, I don't five, hate, I don't hate Nick Foles. Like I got five straight years no. with 
10 or less interceptions with Bro, this nigga touchdowns. is but trash, bro. No. <laughs> Listen, I got respect for Nick Foles because Yo. this nigga stood and, and, and went toe-to-toe with Tom Brady. Listen, I he's don't think hater. he's that good, he's but hater. I have to respect him. So okay? I, I don't mean... But you think I'm a Carson Cowboys fan, but I'm a so realist at the end of the day. I think Carson Wentz... I'm a football fan. I'm a fan of like, football. Okay, so this is what I'm saying, Carson though. I feel Wentz like a dog. No, he was not. Carson Wentz was a dog. Boy, Cam Newton going to fry the shit out that nigga. You tripping. You said Cam Newton better than Nick Foles? was a yes. dog. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm fucking with y'all. I'm joking. I'm about to say, <laughs> what? I'm like, yo, this nigga. If, yes. If Carson Wentz. If Carson Wentz never gets hurt, I don't even know what we're talking about. Bro, yeah. the niggas team won the ball hurt, without that nigga. How good me. are you? He like, was clapping on the Carson sideline. Wentz, what are you talking Carson, about? Carson, Carson Wentz, like Carson Wentz literally might as well be Derrick Rose. Uh I don't disrespect Derrick Rose like no, that. No, I'm, I'm being Ow. so serious. I'm being oh. so serious. He might as well be Derrick Rose. I think RG3 could be Derrick Rose, bro. Yeah, he could be, but RG3 didn't have the success RG3 that ain't Carson them had. To the bowl. No, he didn't because he got hurt in the playoff game. No, nah, but what I'm saying is Carson, had, say it, yeah. Carson <laughs> had more success <laughs> before <laughs> and post injury. Okay, so, how much is that? How much? What? Like what? Say it again, bro. The nigga, Carson bro. had more success post pre and post and after injury. All right. Pre-injury, the nigga won 11 games. Pre-injury, this nigga, uh, RG3, went to the playoffs, got hurt in the playoff game. Post-injury, this nigga, the first year, Carson Wentz had a negative uh, record as a starter. Nick Foles took them to the playoffs because his back was fucked up and he was done. The next year, the nigga won a division with all backups and then got out in the playoff game. Since that day, he has not done shit. That Listen, nigga is horrible. Stop. stop. Horrible is crazy. He's like, fucking trash, bro. Man, man. That's not hate. It's a fact. Listen, bro, listen, this nigga. He's trash now, though. Numbers. That first year, he was fired. TP. No, okay. We can't okay. even say, we can't even say he's trash now because in 2021 in Indiana, um, his numbers is better than The nigga couldn't beat the Colts, bro, to lie. get to the he playoffs, bro. He's trash, trash now, but in 17, 16. Listen. Listen. I'll tell you this. 17. He was balling, okay? Balling. All, like, he was balling, balling, right? How good is he if your team goes? That's my whole argument, bro. I'm not going to take 27 away from the 2017 away from him. How good are you if your team goes and beats the best coach quarterback duo of all time without you? That's all I'm saying, bro. I don't think he was that good. And then that means, I was proved right he, after that. That means they would have won by more if he played. I don't mean that. If he's that do not mean that. You just said he's better than the quarterback. He is started. better than Nick Foles is, is garbage, but he caught he caught fire. He's better than Nick Foles, in my opinion. So that so does what, not so mean. You're not giving me a reason why he would have lost that game, bro. Because this is why I'm saying he would have lost the game. I feel like Nick Foles had more experience. Nick Foles had more playoff experience. Didn't he have a 28 and 29 and two season? And it took them niggas to the offs, beat Dallas and Dallas to get them to the offs, lost to the Saints. I feel like the nigga was ready for that moment. And he caught fire. I don't think Carson Wentz was ready. I don't even think he would have got to the Super Bowl. That's crazy. I think he would have lost to Atlanta. He won, he won 11 games. He won 11 games. But <laughs> That's again, crazy. the point is, I guess we'll never know. But I mean, we won't never whole, know. But... We'll never know, but... That's just how I feel about it. I don't That's think fair. he was that I mean, good. That's fair. That's fair. And I don't even think I'm hating. No, I just see hating. it the way I see it. I, I He's think, definitely I think hating. you're thinking of the way that Carson Wentz plays the game compared to the way that Nick Foles plays the game, regardless if they both trash, the way that Carson played it, he would have lost that game. The way Nick played it, he would have won. Because he's more turnover prone. Like, I feel like Carson Wentz, he can't not do the that same year, shit. Not that year, he was not. Not that, okay, yeah, not that year. But I feel like that nigga can't do the same shit two times in a Look, row, bro. He's just talking I'm right just saying. If, I'm no, I mean what I'm he's saying. Just, I'm just saying, talking right now. Do you think right if Derrick Rose would have got hurt, he would have been fired his whole year? A whole life? Say it again. If you think Derrick Rose would have never got hurt, you think he'd have been fired the whole time? Just about. Yeah, right. You can say the yeah, same thing with Carson Wentz. So if he never gets no, hurt, he had the same thing. That nigga's head. ass. Oh fuck! Yeah. He was fucking can. fired that year, bro. He won eleven games. He was fired hurt. that year, though. He was fired that year. <laughs> but, or was it the team? He never came or was it the right team? No, he elevated. Or was it? Cause, cause, no. This is why though. Because if you can say what Micah said about fucking. Jalen uh, Jalen Hurts uh, and the team around him in the system. What the hell can you say about that nigga? Carson, Carson? bro, you you 
on that Super Bowl he team, bro. Win. He had Nick bro, Foles bro, bro listen. Win. If we if we gonna keep it all the way to the Oils, bro, that 2017 Philadelphia Super Bowl team was not uh-huh. as talented as that Chiefs Super Bowl team, as that uh Rams Super Bowl team, any of that. So you can't say that. You can't. You can't. You can't. Because when you when you look at so you Super guys Bowl think teams, I mean, they okay, weren't I mean, as I... talented as them. They were. So what are you? So so you guys are trying to say? Oh no, no, not, I'm not gonna put words in Malik mouth. TP, you're saying had he not gotten hurt, what? Had I, had he not gotten hurt, bro. had he not tore his Carson Wentz was an elite talent, bro. I, I I can't I can't get behind saying he. I was think a we scrub. still won the Super Bowl. He doesn't get hurt. I think they you think still, still won. The Super Bowl. Okay. I think they still as long as I don't as, think he did anything. As long as they don't Nick have Foles to play did. the Saints like, in the NFC I mean, Championship. I don't think Nick Foles did anything better than he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think Nick Foles is that fucking good, bro. Exactly. But he caught so lightning. Listen, make sense I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the numbers Carson on Carson Wentz, Wentz better than he would have done. You said you said oh, turnover prone. Is just that's turnover prone. And a, a that he just he listen, wasn't think, that year though. I'm sweet talking about. No, he wasn't. No, that's fast though. He definitely wasn't that year though. 2000, 2016, he threw for thirty seven. Rookie year, he threw for thirty seven, sixteen, and fourteen. Yeah. That's bad. Twenty seventeen. 32, this is, you know what I mean? This is supposed to be the MVP. 32, The year we're talking about, yeah. Really good. 2018, three stacks, 21 and seven. 2019. Say it again. Say it, wait, wait. Say 2021 20, again. 21 and seven. 20, 21 and seven. 2018. With a negative he record. Hurt. He, don't, he got hurt. You know he didn't play He was game. negative before he got he hurt. 3, 000, he had 3,000 yards, 21 touchdowns, seven interceptions, though. The nigga was like three and six. No, listen, though. Listen, though. 2019, <laughs> 4,000 yards. 27 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Yeah, you know okay. Saying? He wasn't, yeah, you know I mean, you can't say he was bad, bro. You really can't. You really can't say he was bad. Bro. The nigga was he negative a, he has as a, a career starter 90, and got he has a bro, career 90 passer rating. You just don't like Carson Wentz. Fuck, he do that. Yeah. No, 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 like no, him, no, 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 no. I he's like 20, Carson Wentz. 20, in his career, he's 22,000 uh, like yards, 153 <laughs> touchdowns, and 67 <laughs> interceptions. 90 passes. Listen, you listen, bro. This is what I'm you saying, tripping. bro. This nigga Carson Wentz off some real, off, off no hype shit, bro. No hating shit. I never thought he was that good. I always thought wow. it was a team around him. I thought he that the really nigga was no turnover team. prone. Just, just like in his rookie year, like what you said, 16 and 14, and then he had a bunch of fumbles. Who was his dominant the receiver? Who no, was exactly. his dominant receiver? Exactly. So I'm, so I'm going exactly. to cook his rookie year. He was a rookie. The next year he balled because he had a great team around him. Who That's was his dominant receiver? Alshon Jeffrey. He was Zach he was Ertz. dominant. But he Alshon Jeffrey that year was really good. He, he wasn't was a, dominant. He wasn't no 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 no. He wasn't no top. I ain't gonna Alshon wasn't no fucking. Yeah, exactly. You gotta look at him like run. what? He was dominant. Alshon Jeffrey wasn't dominant. No, I'm saying no, he, at no point in his career was like, he, he was ever booty. dominant. No, no, no. Booty. I was I was giving him I'm like, Alshon Jeffrey was good. He wasn't At dominant. No he had Zach Ertz. Was he dominant? No, 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 no. He was That's good. what I mean, though. He was good, though. That's what I mean, though. Like, you can't really judge a quarterback until they've played with a true number one receiver. Okay. And he's you, you always sure? shined without one. That, and that should take you everything. Shined? Shined. When you, bro. Yo, you, when give, you, winning, you give him, you give him, uh, what's the nigga name? What's, uh, give him C.D. Lamb, huh? Uh, there you go. <laughs> the ball. I'm just, I'm just know. saying, okay. bro. Like, I'm just saying, who you play with does matter. Absolutely. Who you play with does matter. But absolutely, capers. You, I, I don't know. Like, I sound like you, a hater. Conf, you, you confusing you me, like right? You like him, because right? you, you saying it because I know at the time you was calling them bums. And now you trying to say this nigga had elite talent around him because I know for a fact he didn't. Bro, I know this for a fact nigga he had the best O line in the league. They didn't or have arguably, the best O-line. They arguably, didn't have the best 2018 O-line. that O line wasn't crazy. They didn't have the best O line. Not, not 18, 17. They had no, Pierce. we they had the best O line. Kelsey Lane. We had, had the best O line. They had Brandon we had Brooks. The best O-line. They had Peters. We had Jordan Peters, right? We yeah, had Jason Peters, O-line, Kelsey. Bro. Brandon listen, Brooks, listen, Lane Johnson. We had this the nigga's best running O-line, game was crazy. Bro. We had no in 2016. O-line, we didn't even have the best running back in the league. 2017, we did. We it had, didn't matter about we that. Had the best O-line. Yeah, like we had the best O line in the league until and, Frederick. And he was balling. We had the best O line until Frederick. Them two niggas was balling. This nigga had Zach Ertz Zach and had Dallas Goddard. 
They done tried to get this nigga fucking golden fucking tape. Like this, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, th- 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 that's not good, bro. Outside yeah, of Zach Ertz, that's that's not complimentary. It, that's not it, bro. Dallas Goddard's like bro. that. I, listen, you know, I give Lamar so much credit for what he was able to do. His able MVP to do with what, what, what he's able to do his MVP year. Most people can't do that, huh? He might. He, he might win this year. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just a shoe in, bro. It, it, that's his. That's a shoe in, bro. And that's what I, I mean. He, and that's what I don't like. They gave him that junk because they didn't want to give it to Dak. I ain't like that, bro. Like, yeah, I don't they didn't know. want to give it to Dak because they how they went out. No, they wasn't gonna give it to Dak regardless. Yeah, they wasn't gonna give it to him before that game. You don't think so? No. After the Bills game, he was cooked. Yeah, and that wasn't oh, yeah. his fault. That's true. I don't know. We can agree to disagree. I never thought the nigga was that good, bro. But I, I get your points. He didn't have no like, dominant wideout either, though. When, when he didn't have a dominant that, wideout either, though. I get you. you yeah, that, I get you that. When you say I don't never think the nigga that good, I'll be ready he, to He's not, out though. He's say, not that good, that's though. Like saying, that's like saying Dak's not good. It's not like yeah. saying Dak's not good, like bro, because Dak... Good. It's kind of like saying... Bro, all right. Hold up. I got grass over. You good. Yeah, you good, bro. You good. So... Niggas be acting crazy with that shit. All right, so TP, they had to change topics off of that. What do you think about? Uh, tell everybody what you feel about Dallas re-signing uh, Mike or bringing back Mike McCarthy again. I told y'all, man. I mean, I wasn't opposed to it. I mean, I figured that was gonna happen. Jerry don't want to switch that up, man. No, at least not with one year left in his contract. Man. He ain't trying to switch nothing up. Uh. What I want to see is what we do at de- defensive coordinator. Um, that's it was like that, I thought I liked Dan Quinn. Yeah, like that's what I'm interested to see. I mean, I won't be opposed to bringing him back either, because you know, what I mean, you know, there's not going to be no real change, and I mean, there doesn't need to be real change. It just needs to be things just need to be tweaked schematically. You know, what I mean, schematic changes. Uh, I seen uh something that uh my man Tuck has said. He said he said we should probably go back to the three four. I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Why did he say that? That would do. That would do Micah justice if you want to use him as an outside linebacker and rush the passer. Like, I, I'm I, I wouldn't be opposed to going to a three four defense. Um, because that could help definitely with our linebackers. You know what I mean? Instead of having three, I mean, instead of having one or two out there, we have three or four. You know what I mean? I like that. Um, All right, I'm back. But then that mm-hmm. takes the need for a dominant drink inside. Some shit real quick. <laughs> you good, brody? <laughs> a dominant. That needs a dominant inside D tackle. Um, Got you, yeah. I don't know, man. I like the four three. You know what I mean? The nickel. I mean. I like that four D lineman. If we're gonna have four D linemen, I, 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 I hate five. I can't stand five. Anymore. If we're gonna have four D linemen that are actually gonna, you know, I what I mean, be committed to gap Three, integrity. You know, what I mean, that's what it comes down to: gap integrity. Like, and you know, what I mean, we got a whole bunch of pass rushers on the D line. So as soon as as soon as they run the ball, you know, what I mean, they're trying to get up the field. To, yeah, we, they run the ball. We trying to swim. We trying to swim over top of niggas and stuff, and we just everybody's just getting washed, and like you just sit on the game film, like we're trying to swim and we're trying to avoid blocks, and we're just getting washed right down the sideline, and it's just you talking about the you talking about the boys, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you can say the same thing about Philly too, for real, low key. Yeah, you know what I mean, you're the four, same four way. Yeah, you know I mean, front, y'all just want to pass place. rush. You know what I mean? No real gap integrity. No. You know what I mean? Uh, linebackers aren't reading gaps properly. You know, um, linemen are able to get down on linebackers. That's when you're lost. When your linemen are getting to the second level, getting to your linebackers. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's what you don't want to happen. Point. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's what you want, don't want to happen because when you're lining against you your that linebackers, that means your running back is one on one, usually with your safety. And that's you know what's crazy. Okay, picking. so like, so like I, I think about that shit all the time because like obviously same problems on my end. And it's like, how the fuck? Like when y'all was when you, when you talking about 
Tyler, uh, Tony Pollard not being able to run the ball basically on in that game. It's like how the fuck aren't y'all linemen getting to that second level? Like what the fuck is they're they're past or my linemen or anybody? It's like I don't. It's the scheme. It's the scheme. Yeah. Uh, so like a power. And then y'all run out of shotgun. I hate that shit. A power. I hate when anybody runs out of shotgun. Well, number one, we don't got no power back. So why we run a power scheme, I don't understand. But um, and it messes with us because for so many years, bro, we've been a zone blocking team. So from we go from a zone blocking team to a power run scheme is just different. We don't have we don't got big hog mollies up front. They were just gonna move people out the way. That's not us. We need we we built a move niggas, create a gap. That's what we built for. We going, uh, pick a gap. You go this way or this way. Let me know. Because, right. you know what I mean? All that trying to run up the middle. We don't have Zeke no more. You know what I mean? Tony Pollard. Mm-hmm. I mean, actually, it's crazy because Tony Pollard, most of his yards come after contact, breaking tackles. Yeah, I know. So, like, um, and then I seen, I was watching West Coast the other day. West Coast talking about we don't have no running back. I'm like. No, we have a running back. It's just I think Tom we just ain't got no running game. Right. We got a running back. We ain't got no running game. But yeah, you know I mean, yeah. I think, I say, I think running, Tony, Tony Pollard's all right. That's what I'm saying. I like Tony Pollard. Like no, he is all right. Like, he's, I, he's I, like top eight I don't think he's gonna come back. Tony, though. He up there in the top eight at least. I don't think he's yeah. gonna come back though. But um, I don't think we're gonna want to pay him. Uh, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah, I it think we need to go back is. to that zone run scheme. Get a lot. Absolutely. of We need to get back to the stretches. The off. Bro, tackle, we went out bad, bro. It was a bad zone, bro. Pulling right. linemen, like I don't like. I don't even really see us pulling linemen. Like not for real. We don't really pull no linemen. Like or you know what I mean. Use the extension of the run. Like I see teams. You know what I mean. Get bubble flats. You know what I mean. Getting your you know what I mean, running back out there. It's, it's really not the same game. We don't do game. none of that. Like, we don't do none of that. The game that we remember, that's really not the same game. Like, right. it's a whole different game out there. The way they run these zone plays and these, the way they run the ball is just, like, so different compared to, like. Yeah, it's innovative. You know what I mean? We come, they, yeah. They're coming up with new ways to get your best player the ball. And, you know what yeah. I mean? I look at Shanahan. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I was telling Capers, you know what I mean? Well, episode or two ago, like. What the 49ers have, the Cowboys have. In every facet except for Fred Warner, bro. There's no reason the why we have. can't do the things that they do. Right, the shit that they do. That's Especially what I'm on the offensive I, side well, of the we ball. Were about, we literally were just talking about that. They, if, uh-huh. if anybody I'm else has like, a playbook, yeah, I mean, insane, Yeah, I mean, it's not even a playbook. It's just like, it's a copycat it's league, nasty. right? It's a, They say that shit all the time. It's a copycat league. Oh, shit. We wasn't what, watching. What are we football. copying? That's what I was yeah, what are we, we copying? Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, what I'm saying, nigga. Yeah, I, mean, I was, what I'm like, I bro, was like, watching games like, yo, just copy the same plays they running because them niggas the fuck open. Just run the same play. Yeah, I mean, you don't run. even got to copy the same plays. It's just like, just use those same. We have better players. You know what I mean? You use those same type schemes. You could do it a different way, but you know what I mean? The The... The end result is still the same. You know what I mean? You're getting the your best players, the ball, and space. Right. And you know what right. I mean? They've all, and you know what I mean? The 49ers have shown that they're making football look real easy. Pitch and catch. Real, real Niggas shit. are Pitch running wide open. Like, we confused you before we even open. hike the fucking ball. You right. know what I'm saying? You don't know what the fuck know. about to happen. We about to like, the same six they, plays they be like, they be like Brock Purdy. That's when they was like Brock Purdy MVP. I'm like, yo, if y'all turn on the tape, they are running wide open almost. There's some, nah, some, but some of them plays he do be fitting that thing. Yeah, I'm about to say you lie. tripping. He do be, th- I ain't gonna lie, he do be putting that. Yeah, no, the Purdy be because he has to throw a velocity. He don't got an arm. Good, but a good. 60% of they plays, 70% of they plays is real easy. Him in the flat. Right. Him, him on the over route. I mean, they got, kiddo on the over they route. Got the modern day you know what I mean? Fox, so. I use yeah, on right? the over route. You know what I mean? They're, <laughs> getting, they're just getting guys the ball in open space. White bread I mean? be out there getting a slice. I ain't gonna cut. <laughs> That was a match made in heaven, bro. Bro, white bread. Oh, yeah, my. Slice. Yeah, he do, bro. I was going to ask just... you, Malik. Other than coaching changes, what do the Eagles need to do in the offseason? 
Um, other than coaching standards for sure, we definitely need to look into the secondary. Um, oh man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, 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 y'all practically in rebuild mode. I think on the deal, I think on the on the on the D in the defensive aspect for sure. And then we got a lot of players that might leave. You, know, you got Fletcher Cox, you got Brandon Graham, you got La- uh, Lane Johnson and Jason Kelsey all up there. They all up there, so like they all the pioneers of our team. So you know that that's a little attentive. You never know. I don't know who else is going to retire out of those out of that group, but that could be a thing. Right. So I running mean, into those AJ problems, Brown, wherever those gaps three. are, obviously those need to be filled. But I think we're pretty solid on D line when it comes to that, the rotation and everything. Definitely O line will definitely have to look for a new leader and everything. So we definitely That's need true. to get. De- I, I, I think our first aspect is definitely our defensive back position right now. That's our weakest link. Um, defensive possess- defensive back for sure. Um, I know us and running backs, so that's going to rotate for sure. I, I'm pretty sure we're not going to resign or do anything with that because we fucking don't want to play a running back because we just don't. Um, yeah, right. So, Dig it. so, so hopefully we get a nice uh, young r- running back on a fucking rookie contract that's going to fucking ball out. Um, or maybe we can just keep giving whatever we give the Boston Scott. But definitely uh, defensive backs for sure. Got uh, you. So enough of football for a second. Right. I had a question for Malik. When and why did you start making content, bro? Like, I see oh, you at 100K, 200 plus K on TikTok doing mm-hmm. your thing, bro. What made you get started with that shit? Like, you uh, really so, out here. So, uh, I was kind of always on the internet, like, doing, like, videos. Like, I was, like, when, when like, YouTube, like, kind of first started, I was, like, one of those people that got a YouTube page from, like, almost 18 years ago, like, kind of thing. And um, I was doing this whole thing because I used to play football. So, like, I was, like, yeah. pretty good. So, like, you know, I used to have this thing called Malik Joe Road to the NFL. So, like, I was, like, recording every week. Really? Yeah, it's called Malik Joe Road to the NFL. It's, like, maybe, like, 15 years old now. Um, so, yeah. I used to record all my workouts, everything, and, like, put it out to the world. Like, yo, like, you know, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do all this shit, whatever, XYZ. And then I went to school when I was still doing the video. So, the video aspect, I kind of got a, a gift of how to, like, do effects oh, cool. and trim and cut and crop and everything so like i kind of start falling falling in love with the creativity of basically creating a video putting a video together xyz so right i go to school whatever and whatever that kind of the, the nfl thing kind of fell through then i started boxing and i was making videos yeah, I, see, I seen that yeah i mean then i became a pro boxer and that was cool too like the the pro boxing shit that was never another like a vision that was just like something to do like I was nothing to do like I I started Muay Thai first and then I did K one I won a gold medal in K one in the uh, international competition USA versus mm-hmm. Canada it wasn't really a competition it was one on one but okay. and then I became a professional boxer probably should have said a kickboxer but I got everything I needed from that sport right after that I I was like as I was boxing I was still making videos of boxing and me like working at the store like when I was working I was a, a server. And I was just like making fun of all the dumb shit that happened at work, like when people ask for stupid shit. Like, can I get yeah, it? Yeah, right. We didn't lose him, did we? Uh oh, I think we lost my leg. Talking about now. <laughs> you said how you oh, was how kicking I started, out. How I started. So yeah, you said how you started, but you was talking about how you were at the, you were making videos at the yeah, bar at being the restaurant. server. Right. I made a video at the as at the restaurant as a as a server and shit. And like, lucky enough, that first video I ever did went viral. That shit went viral, like viral, like a millions of views in like a week. Damn. Then, then the second video I did, like, oh, I'm like, oh, this shit kind of lit. Like, I mean, people were like, asking, should I do more? So like, I did another video, and that shit went viral too, like another million, like right back to back. So I'm like, damn, this shit kind of lit, like X Y Z. Then they asked me to be on this like podcast for this like little show. This is just like pre COVID, before a podcast was popping. Only nigga that had a podcast. Oh damn. This was like the only nigga that had a podcast was like Joe Rogan and shit. That was it. Like, <laughs> like that's true. <laughs> Like, yeah, that actually was a minute ago. And then I was on a, like, little... It was, like, it was one of those shows where the podcast was only on audio. It wasn't even a video. It was just audio. Like, we were just talking and shit. And it was cool. And then, like, that shit started popping. And then I was still working, still just, like, making videos, like, almost every other day. Nothing was really jumping off. It was just, like, something to do. Like, as I was, like I said, I was interested in the creativity of it. And then I started... I remember this bull was like, I remember, I'll never forget this shit. I was working at Devin Seafood. This homie, my homie was like, yo, man, like, I like your videos, but I laugh more when I hang out with you. Like, like when I'm really hanging out with you, you're really funny as shit. Like, and your videos be funny, but I feel like you be, like, kind of, like, 
censoring yourself. Like you don't sound like how you sound in the videos. I'm oh, like, oh you're right. Like I talk in my, my customer service voice on my videos. So I'm like, let me just be me. Then that's when North Ball started and me putting a shiesty on and be like, oh, let me just act like myself, like I'm, yeah. you know, where I'm from. So yeah. I'm like, when I, once I start implementing, like, yeah, what's up? We out this job, fucking me and my latte and now XYZ here. Bro, Meek Mill reposted my shit, boom, in 2021. What? Meek Mill reposted my shit, boom. After that, it was to the fucking Lydiots. I, I got like, a crazy amount of followers. I probably said a different number every time I say this shit, but it was like 40, 50,000 followers like within a week. Damn. On what? The joint when I was acting like I was at the bank. Like I was like, it was it was like me and North Ball go to the bank and he ain't had no ID and all this dumb shit. shit. Yeah, yeah tight yeah. shit. Yeah. And that shit went viral to the lid, right? So I'm dry, at, once that shit went viral, I don't know. I, I was going crazy at that point in my life. I'm like, I'm dropping a video every day. I dropped a video every day for like three years straight. Or two years straight since I was Damn. Like, two years straight. I, I dropped the video every day for two years straight. Like boom, 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 boom. After me, after okay. we were posting me, then actually just started popping, and then I got with Dumpy, and then after that, it was just it was rap. But that's so how I at, at what point did you do you want to think you kind of took off? Like what 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 exact like time frame? Uh, I want to say. It's like, I want to say the first one, because without the first one, I probably wouldn't have think, like, thought, like, damn, I, I, yeah. I could kind of do this. But I also want to say the one with Meek Mill, because that game, at, at the Meek Mill game, in a green light, that's when I, I posted every day. Like, before then, I was just posting here and there. At the yeah. Meek Mill game, in a green light, this nigga funny. I'm like, oh, yeah. Everybody going to know I'm funny. Fuck is you talking about? I'm going every day. Boom, boom, boom. Every boom. day. Like, and like, awesome. Tupac shit. I got a million songs. Like. Yeah. I'm going every day, like so. Ever since then, and then until this day, I still post every day. Every day, sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times a day. I got post every day. So. Damn. So I go. I ain't gonna lie though, bro. We've been beefing the whole the past two years for real, for real. But really, this year, yes. bro. And <laughs> you got a loyal ass fan base, boy. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas love this nigga, like bro. <laughs> These niggas, when the Cowboys lose and this nigga be tagging me in them captions and all that, them niggas really be out to get me, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this nigga, yo, this nigga keep tagging me. So then that's when I start barking back on niggas because at first I was like, I was I having niggas. I didn't even know what was going on. I was just bro. like, what would you like to say? Bro, like nah, that. yeah, it's cool. I love it. But yeah, bro, it was like, whatever. This nigga start tagging me. Them niggas just be in my comments going, bro. Like, I'm like, all right, bet. Let me start clapping back at this nigga. He keeps shooting at me. Let me when, when the Cowboys whooped y'all this year. Yeah. I'm like, let me have them niggas tell this nigga to check in. <laughs> Yo, like bro, this nigga like, be on my like, ass, bro. I was like, uh, like it had to be at least like 10, 20 motherfuckers talking about. Yo, make sure you check in with Cape. That's why I thought you were Dallas. <laughs> I'm like, make sure you check in with Cape. You were Dallas. So I'm in Dallas, I'm just saying, like, this nigga really got this shit on lock out here. This shit, like, rapper check in. I'm like, like, this ain't my element, whatever, X, Y, Z. So, yeah, that shit was crazy, but that's why I was like, this nigga got to be from my head. They, they, they was going in. I'm telling you, bro. I'm they, telling you, bro. They was that going, shit was crazy. hilarious. Like, they all saying the same thing. I'm like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? Bro, that shit was fucking hilarious, bro. I ain't going to lie. Them niggas was tagging me. I'm like, yo, they, was, they really bro, on this you nigga. Suppo- you were supposed to be there, bro. Bro, what the fuck happened? Oh, I had to go to my friend's graduation. That's what happened. My friend graduated college around that time, so I couldn't. Damn, bro. I was I sick, was, too, bro. We was really out there and die. It was a shame, though, because we got cooked. But Bro, we could have gotten to the um the Dan's tailgate joint. Damn, I was he had invited me. Him. I know. Bro, we I was with the sports trip, so like we had like a little section yeah. in like the fucking like uh Boomer Jacks like parking lot or some shit like uh-huh. that. And that shit was like it was lit, but we were starting to mingle with the people and shit, and then yeah. we didn't know where the fuck Texas Live was at, and then we saw it. That shit was far from the other side of the stadium. We like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, bro, far, nigga. That shit on the, the other side of Dallas Stadium, that shit like an airport. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna cap. That shit was crazy. It had Gilly there. Dez was there. Niggas was talking. I was like, damn, bro. I, I tried to get there. Tighter game, though, man. That would have been lit. You got fucking bombed. Bro, you know how we do at home, though, bro. Unless it's Green Bay. I'm about to say, unless it's... Unless, unless it's... Come through, yeah, unless it's the, 
bro. Oh, Jeez, man. He's been smoky on the off for a I minute. Know. It's like when we played the Seahawks or the, or the, or the Cardinals. Time you know, the Cardinals, we can't beat the Seahawks or the Cardinals save our fucking lives. Nope. Especially in the playoffs. We can't beat the Packers Larry at all. Larry Fitzgerald would have zero catches all year. He played the Eagles in the playoffs. That's 97 it. 97 catches for 1,050 yards. 1,000 fucking yards, 10 tubs. 10 tubs. Easy 10 tubs. That's how that shit quarter. be, bro. Like, what the fuck? That's how that shit be, bro. I hate All right, that look, shit. I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up, you guys. Malik, thank you for coming on, man. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Hey, That's everybody, make sure you guys subscribe. Go follow Malik John. I'm gonna put his links in the description. Follow me, dickhead. Follow, follow that nigga, right dickhead. Right Fuck is you talking about? Follow that nigga. <laughs> and, and, and we got some big things in the future. Got some collabs coming in the future. So stay Thanks. tuned with this nigga. He funny as shit. Granted, I'm a Cowboys fan, but man, nigga say I'll be hating. But I'm going to give props to where it's due. This nigga is funny as shit. I ain't going to lie, bro. <laughs> so that's good. But make sure y'all boys subscribe.